Hi guys, welcome back. Scanlink here and we're off for more of Mother 2 slash Earthbound. In the last episode, we got out of the nightmare desert known as Scarabur, as well as met up and left Dungeon Man, borrowed his sub in order to get to the deep darkness, and with Hawkeye in hand, we should be able to see through said darkness. As you can see here, it gets pretty black. And, well, before we do that though, we gotta uh, talk to the locals around here. So yes, we saved the last episode this uh, toucan right here, attacking toucans, <laughs> and um, saved because he's got a phone on his head, so apparently that just means he's a phone. Logic. The monkeys run the inn in the forest. You can stay here for free. Do you want to spend the night? Wait, what? I swear it doesn't smell like monkeys. You can stay here for free. So why does my money show up? I'm suspectable. You're sure to have fun memories of the monkeys in after your trip. What happens to my money, buddy? Didn't you think it was comfortable? Take care and goodbye! Yeah, our money doesn't go down. Alright, so that is a free heal if we need it. So that is helpful. Right, so how do we get up there? Now, if you remember when we were told if we're walking through here, the shadow bits, we're fine. But if we go into deep areas, the screen is going to flash at certain points and we're going to take damage. That is unavoidable though, sadly. So we're just going to have to trundle through. Oh shoot, I just remembered. I want to have some storage space. Oh wait, no, I've got some storage space. I'm good. Okay. Because I was about to say, we need space for the truffles. Hello? I don't feel it's necessary for us to talk. Well, fine then, screw you, buddy. It's really dark here in deep darkness, isn't it? That's pretty creepy, don't you think? If you don't have the Hawkeye here, you're helpless. So if you haven't taken it out of the, uh, if you did put it in storage and you haven't taken it out yet, you might want to go do that. This is the deep darkness. When you're up through the swamp, you're in danger of your health. If you, you can't help it. That's why it's called deep darkness. So yeah, this place is quite inhospitable for us. To say the least, I want to become a pig. If I become a pig, I can find the mushrooms called magic truffles. They're located in the swamp and can only be found by scent. You know, a pig's nose would be enough to find those great truffles by scent alone. So yeah, these monkeys seem to speak English. That's obviously odd. Or is it American? Communist, I don't know. Hi, how are you? I'm not a bad guy. I came from one of the world's largest economic powers to this small rural village. A businessman that is truly tough has to travel this far for the best opportunities, and I am a tough businessman, yes sir. I'm also a representative of the doctor over there. A. Do you want to buy? Two. Do you want to heal? Um, I want to A first. Needless to say, this is a rural village. <laughs> we have poor items. Hello there, how may I help you? Can I get you anything? Well, you say poor items, yet you carry diamond bands. Like I said, we would be able to buy these later, and we definitely have the money to do this now. Well, if we were, we um, took any out, that is. Charm coins also do stuff, so that's kind of cool. Um, I believe they take different slots, so that should be okay. And all the rest is just the usual stuff. So, we definitely want to have some money for the charm coin and diamond bands. Like I said, all the equipment at Summers is the latest equipment that you can buy, but... If you keep going onwards, they will split up to when you can buy them when you probably have a lot more money. Sadly though, I can only buy like either two charm coins or one dumb band at this moment, so we'll have to leave that for just a moment. Can I get you anything else? Nope. Please come again. So we'll deal with that dude once we can get some money out, but who knows if there's an ATM machine around here. I heard monkeys living in some desert can teleport. Oh, you learn how to teleport for the monkeys? Yeah. I want to try. Will you teach me how to do it? Fine. Okay, I'll try it. And without actually teaching him, he just runs straight forward, focusing his power. Oh, well, he messed up. I'll never give up. I want to try again. And so he does. Bring it around town a little earlier. There you go. Get it? Yeah, we're in a very small part, trying to do teleport alpha is kind of annoying, because you've got to try and, like, not crash to build up the speed. I did it. Did you see me? That was awesome. That's a small gift, I thank you. Paula got the monkey's love. What? What does that do? A gift from a monkey. It can be used during battle. We'll find out what that does. It's probably single use though. I hear the oven going off. 
So yes, there is not really an ATM here, but if we go slightly onwards, we can also talk to this dude here. Shh, don't talk so loud. What do you want? I got what you need. So if you need more uh, multi-bottle rockets, you can buy them here. There's also um, super bombs, which is basically the, the heavy bazooka if you haven't repaired it yet. And combat yo-yos, which anyone can equip. They're just basic uh, average weapons, but we don't need that. So, will there be anything else? Nope. So that's everything. Keep on the watch for bad guys. And if we push on just slightly further, hoping I'll bump into it. There is a banana inside. Great, a banana. Um, if we use the Hawkeye here, let's use the Hawkeye. And now we can see onwards. But it's also removed from our inventory, which is actually pretty helpful, considering that we don't need it now, but this place is always now available. Piggy Nose is also helpful, we'll deal with that in a bit. I swear there was something ahead that allows us to do something. Oh, it's that snorkel there. Hello, Master Belch, what are you doing here? I thought we ended your life. Shh, be quiet. I look very important, but I'm not really. I'm a cash dispenser man. If you want to withdraw your cash, I'll charge you a handling fee, which is the same amount as what you withdraw. So if you withdraw $200, for example, another 200 will be used. Yeah, you don't want to... This is your ATM for this area, and he is not good. So if you want to withdraw like 10,000, you're going to lose another 10,000. So, no, I don't want to withdraw. I'll be here, so come back any time. And I turn around just in time. So we've got enemies here, but this isn't Master Bell. It's just a big pile of puke. Pretty much the same, though. I'm not entirely too sure if he can be affected by the jar of fly honey that we stored, but if he can, then whatever. Normal bashing doesn't seem to do a lot. 99 HP a pop, that's not too bad. This obviously does a lot more. Only about 50%, though. Thanks. Oh dear. Oh, it was cold, nauseous, and then poisoned. That's the different versions. Okay. So, what we're gonna do here is that Jeff is going to use his heavy bazooka, because we don't need to waste PSI for this. Felt sick, took 25 HP damage. Sorry, Paula, we'll get rid of that in a moment. And he's done, so he's super easy. Couple of bashes, heavy bazooka, done. And we get a decent amount of experience for it. Ness is now level 56. Oh baby, offense went up by 3, defense went up by 2, speed went up by 1, guts went up by 2, oh baby, vitality went up by 3, luck went up by 1, and HP went up by 38. Not too sure if that was from the vitality we literally just got. Sometimes that can happen. But right, what we need to do now is, um... I'm going to use beta just in case. Felt much better. Awesome. So yes, it's not exactly a good idea to withdraw our money here. But this dude has got some nice equipment that we do want. So let's come back up here. There we go. And there's a mole up here. I'm going to squish you. Green swirl. Bash. Yep, the exact same moles that we've been bumping into since Dusty Dunes Desert. <laughs> Crazy that, or hell, even the uh, pathway to Mondo Mole. But yeah, where we first got ruined by hard mode. Keep bringing that up. Okay, so, problem is, we haven't got PSI Teleport Beta. Who had that? So if we want to teleport Alpha, we're going to need a good long strip. This is going to be annoying. I'm gonna t I'm gonna try twiddling, but we just want to go to a place where we can um, get money out easily. So let's just go back to Summers. That seems like a good place. Can I just do that myself? No, because it's a little bit less accurate. Okay, good to know that. Okay, can I actually do this? I'll just go four side instead. Oh my god, this is annoying. I want to get money out, but I can't do it. Can I actually do it here? That's a question. Luckily, it doesn't eat up too many uh, points, but still. Four side. Hey! That did work. And because we were going so fast, um, Jeff was submerged into the ground. So, finally, we got some bright stuff going on right now. We got bright colors, and it's all nice and sunny. Not too hot, but not too cold either. It actually does look a little bit brighter than it does when you're in uh, the 
uh, Scalibur, so that's why I'm making that comment. Alright, we need to withdraw some money, so let's do that. Yes, we could have withdrawn a bit more, but I thought I had enough, I didn't. So I'm just gonna do this. Uh, would that be enough, actually? Just be on the safe side. Uh. Yeah, I'll do that. Now that does look like a lot of money, but we will be needing this money, so... Let's just shiggy diggy on out of this way. And then let's go back to where we came from. That was the bo wrong button. Okay, so teleport. We should be able to get back to where we were. Deep darkness, there we go. The alarms are the next uh, place up before then. Nice, we're exactly where we want to be. Yeah, the color palette is definitely dark around here. Alright, so oh, we have to go through this entire spiel again, really. So yeah, if you can get the teleport off, that is pretty much more worth. And yeah, do you want to heal? Why would I do that when I can heal at the inn for free? Plus repair items. So yeah, I just want to buy. So... Don't tell me that you don't have poor items, because these are pretty awesome. So first we want to deal with the diamond bands, because they're more expensive. Diamond band, alright, who will carry this? First of all, next, we're going to replace the platinum band for that, so it's just going to be overall better. 32 to 42, not bad. Yeah, sell it, don't need it. I can just buy more if I need to, which I doubt I would. Let's buy another one of those for Jeff Rune. Get rid of his Platinum Band and upgrade that completely. 31 to 41 again. They've both got the same defense. That's crazy. Considering the level gap. I guess Jeff is naturally defensive. Now we have the Charm Coins. Which once again Paula doesn't get anything. But then again she got all the stuff during Scarabur. So that's fine. Nice. Thank you. You're going to equip it here. Yes. Defense change from 42 to 45. Just a minor boost. Buy the Mr. Satin coin. I'm going to store that because I don't think we can buy those. Yeah, we've had the Mr. Satin coin on for that long on next. That's crazy. So, yes. Um, we'll store that in a moment. And finally, we need one more charm coin. And put that on Jeff. That's going to replace his coin of silence, I think. Would you like me to buy the Coin of Silence? Well, we already have one of those, so we can put those, put that away. Well, we can sell it even. And we're back down to what we, our money just was. So, no, I don't need anything else. You've been very helpful, good sir. I now need to go back to the Toucan and try and get um, the Escargo Express to come back. Hey, uh, you know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go... Oh, I can't do that. Poop. Wait, you know what? If I can use this trick. There we go. That's quicker. <laughs> Plus, we do, you don't take. In fact, if you noticed, the screen doesn't flash when you do that because it's technically a cutscene. So that's perfectly fine because I can heal here for free anyway. But yeah, if you if you if you want to get through this place a little bit quicker and not take as much damage, just make sure you crash before you actually warp with PSI teleport, and you can get through this place a lot quicker. So that's a little tip, actually. Take care and goodbye. All right. So that's no, not the dad. Ugh, I'm gonna cut. What I meant to do was Escargo Express. I know that we've been for I said this at the end, like during the last episode. I know that we've been phoning them up way too often at this point. But when you have too many items and you've lost a whole team member worth of space, which, by the way, he still had space available. Yeah, so that's kind of an annoyance. So let's see if we can just push on here a moment while we wait for him to come along. Just save time. Oh, you're able to move normal speed during this. And we're just talking while drowning. That makes perfect sense as well. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Right, so I want to store the Mr. Satin coin. Where else do we want to store here? Uh, we need the picky nose. Well, we don't really need the picky nose. I could just, like, look it up. But at the same time, it's like... I don't really want to cheat. So, yeah, okay, we're good. Let me just confirm your request. You want me to take the Mr. Satin coins? That's correct. Yes. And he's out of here. Because we had to go out of the way in order to get that in the first place. So, now with all that preparation done, and exploring the main area here, we are ready to press on. So, let's equip this, uh, piggy nose. Put the piggy nose on his face. Let's search for the smell of the magic truffle. It is around here somewhere, but you can't pinpoint the exact location. 
right, so it doesn't mean I have to keep using it over and over in order to find them. That's annoying. So, we'll do that for now, because like I said, I don't really want to use a guide. I want to find them myself for a change, so we'll just keep using it every now and again. The truffle doesn't seem to be around here. Oh, okay, so there is one near the beginning. Well, what we could do, actually, just ma is just mash the action button around the area to see if it's lying around here at all. So, do that. In fact, isn't one of them at this tree? That's a question. I'll, I'll use it here. Piggy nose. Search for the smell of the magic truffle. It's around here somewhere, but you can't pinpoint the exact location. I feel like this is a very poor... Ah, it's down here, isn't it? This looks too suspicious. No problem here, no problem here, no problem here. Is it around here? I feel like it is. This looks too suspicious. It must be a little further up and right. Up and right. So, over here? Over here, perhaps? Hey! There's a magic truffle at your feet! That's got the magic truffle. Okay, there we go. Let's check what that does. Magic truffle! A dreamlike delicacy that is said to grow at the base of trees in wet, muddy places. It restores about 80 pp. Compare that to a PSI caramel. Pleasures 20 pp. It's four PSI caramels in one use. That is awesome. And I believe there's about five of them, and there's only five in the game. So... Keep that in mind. So, I've been taking quite a lot of damage going through here, so I'm going to go heal one more time, and then we're going to push on proper. So I'll meet you guys back to where that snorkel was. Or at least where, um... Can I even go in there? No, I can't. But yeah, I'll meet you back to where that snorkel guy is, and if there's an enemy in the way, I'll probably cut back to where the, uh, the Mr. T dude is. Okay, we are back. Now, this area may feel large because you're moving so slow, but it ain't exactly as large as you would think. So, periodically, like I said, I'm going to be using the uh, piggy nose so we can search them out. This is what you're going to have to do if you do not search up on a map, which I'm trying to avoid doing. I only did it, like, last couple episodes because... Just to prove a point. I feel like there's one down here because this looks too suspicious. And then, when you come down, like, one of these suspicious areas, you would use the piggy nose to pinpoint the exact location, I would assume. The magic oh, there's no magic truffle here! Alright then, that's a red herring. If you didn't have the piggy nose, you'll be just searching every potential area, just going, no problem here, no problem here, and that'll be super annoying. So I doubt there'll be anything down that way. And there's two Mr. Belchers, or piles of plop, or whatever. Piles of puke, is it? Piles of puke, yeah. So we haven't fought many enemies in this episode, so I'll leave this guy in for now. And I got smash attack, he's dead already. Yep, dead. <laughs> Actually, I did keep him in because I just finished my sentence. And we got a level up. Jeff is now level 49. Events went up by 1. HP went up by 2. Jeff, get more HP, please. That would be nice. Yeah, you can... Nope. Oh, what, really? I turned around and then I looked up again. I have to leave this one in. Because he could do something that I do not like. Okay, so every time he burps, it just does something random. I'm now going to have to use PSI. Oh, and I don't want to use PSI with this, so I'm just going to attack regardless. Freeze. Beta, I don't think I need to do anything too high. He only has about 600 HP. So I'll use the, uh... Where's it gone? Heavy Bazooka. There we go. Yep, 150. That's not bad. That's pretty much what Ness does physically. Even though they do a little bit more now. And he's done already. Right, so nothing bad happened there. So yeah, these guys are super easy. What was I worried about? I feel like I'm overleveled again, to be fair. Uh, that won't last, will it? Right, so there must be something here. Let's search the smell for the magic truffle. The truffle doesn't seem to be around here. Wow, really? Really? That's unbelievable, that. Oh, he didn't make it in time. You engaged the zappy all. This is new. Bash him! 
At least we don't take damage over time because we're underwater. Electrical shock attack. That's a PSI thunder effectively. Ah, you mug! Get zapped yourself! Oh, that's the problem when you hit Ness twice. You get hit yourself twice. He killed himself! Or he tamed himself, whatever you want to say. How do you tame yourself? It's like, bad Dobby! Bad Dobby! <laughs> tame yourself. You're not going to leave me be, are you? Nope. You engage the hard crocodile. He's hard yo. Don't know where I was going with that. PSA freeze beer. And the goods. I am going to go uh, heavy bazooka your face. Yeah, Jeff just freaking pulls out a bazooka and goes wha-blam! From out of nowhere. Ness just missed. Well, that helps. How do you miss a crocodile? He's huge. We're literally knocking him out in one turn. This is crazy. I feel like we're getting a little bit less experience than what we were doing in Scarabur as well. That's kind of weird, actually. Porter is now level 52. Offensive went up by 2. Defensive went up by 1. Oh, baby. Speed went up by 3. IQ went up by 1. HP went up by 3. PP went up by 5. Seriously, Ness and Paula keep getting these kind of level ups, but Jeff isn't. Ah, don't matter. There's a present here now. I mean, maybe the enemies were a little bit more tougher in the, um... Desert because they expect you to actually avoid them all and then go for Dungeon Man. But considering how many that I had to deal with, just trying to get to him it was a little bit ridiculous. Beef jerky, well, we'll use that up immediately because that's just eating up inventory space. In fact, we got banana as well. Alright, considering that you're taking damage periodically as you're going through the area as well, you're probably going to have to heal up periodically regardless. So let's give Jeff beef jerky. Okay. Let's have a look at our HP actually. Um, I think I'm going to hold off on eating at the moment. We haven't really been taking much damage. Let's see uh, what the piggy nose says now. I think we're only going to get through half the way through this place. It is around here somewhere, but you can't pinpoint the exact location. Okay, so we're close. I'm going to go down here again. To where we just were, because I feel like down here is where it would be. Let's try here. Or I might go back onwards from where we just were. Doesn't seem to be around it. Okay, so it is back where we came. Look at that! That's the helicopter pokey stole at Foreside! We're on to him. Alright, so we haven't fought these two in a battle before, so this could go either okay or terrible. But I'll just do this, and I'll also get out the goods, and get out the, the heavy bazooka once again. The Baba Bazooka. Ba -ba -ba blam This guy's eerily calm. Ah, oh, poop. Yes, it missed. Okay. If it targets someone who has the Franklin Badge, would it always hit them so that the Franklin Badge does back knockback damage? Perhaps. Well, we knocked that guy out beforehand. So, that's a thing. Just missed. Well, you know what? Everyone just bash him! Jeff's taking a bit of damage though, so I'm going to use the banana on him. Why not? That's a lot of experience. That is not bad at all. I am happy with that. Right, let's uh, go over here. Banana. We haven't used the monkey's love yet, but I'm planning to use that on a boss, to be fair. Jeff ate it. 23 HP. Okay, to be fair, that wasn't a lot, so I'm just going to give my life up alpha anyway, on top of that. I was expecting it to do a little bit more than that. Yeah, it's probably around here somewhere, so I'll put the piggy nose on here. Let's search for the smell of the magic truffle. It's around here somewhere, but you can't pinpoint the exact location. I'm probably a little bit too far now. What do you have to say? Oh, hello! Funny how I didn't have to come back here and do it again. Pictures taken instantaneously. I hope you're not as mad as me as I am before, but let's get ready for an okay memory, I guess. Look at the camera. Many ready, say, muddy pickles. Wow, that was not actually a bad photograph. At least you weren't swearing in my memories. I don't think I worded that right. What's in here? An IQ capsule? Wow, that's two, two for two right there. That was like, we just got one of those in the last episode. Jeff! In fact, I don't think Jeff needs them anymore. Quack! Village tender comes nobody for it because black! Because it's far, nobody come... 
Wait. Because it's far, nobody comes to Tender's village. I think he said it backwards. That would make sense. Alright, so let's get to the middle of this area. And let's try the uh, piggy nose here. I'm going to get stuck in a fight though, I know that. Search for the magic, smell the magic truffle. It's around here somewhere, but you can't pinpoint the exact location. Really? Where is it around here then? Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down in here to the sides and try using it. Because I've got the scent, I just can't pinpoint it. it. Must be a little further up and left. Oh, here we go. So it's here. Nope, not there exactly. Yeah. Hey, there we go. Maybe they are seeable, but because of the layers, like the trees covering them, that might be a thing. What's our HP at the moment? Paula's taking a little bit of abuse, so let's go bump her up a bit. There we go, 100 on the dot, that's what I like to see. Now we can actually head onwards. So we know that there's none down here at this point, but yes, that helicopter's right there, so we know exactly where we need to go. There might actually be another truffle for a little further down here, because this looks like a dead end, yes. In fact, if th isn't there not one here? No. Oh, I'll cut this one out. Immediately smash it. Oh my god, two smashes in a row, I'm keeping that in. Never mind. That went rather well. <laughs> All I did was mash bash. Mash bash. What's this? Crash bash? Right, piggy nose. This looks suspicious to the area. Truffle doesn't seem to be around here. Okay, nothing around here. I swear there was one next to a tree that was just at the base of it normally. Oh, hello, vile plume. What are you doing here? This ain't Pokemon. Yeah, demonic petunia. Right. Let's uh, use some ice attacks because, we'll, we'll, as we all know, ice is super effective to grass types. And heavy bazooka, I guess, is fire types. So that's also super effective, so let's go do that. And yes, fighting type attacks are not. Wow, that did nothing. That did nothing! That was 16 HP damage! Heavy bazooka, thank you for actually doing normal damage. Okay, so physical is the way to go with this dude. Doesn't matter because. Wow, these enemies are super weak. What the hell? I guess it's because the area leeches health off of you anyway over time, so it doesn't really matter, but still, it's kind of crazy. Piggy nose! So, it's this mother magic truffle! There's no truffle around here! Awesome. Alright, let's check this. It's completely broken. I thought I could fix it, but on re-examination, I noticed that there's no engine. Hmm. Where'd the engine go? How do you break? So that means Pokey trashed it and then leached the engine to use it for something else. All right. Okay, so if we remember all the way back at freaking, oh, what was it called? The valley before Happy Happy Village. I forget the name of the valley. To be fair, wow, that was a while ago. But yes, trees explode. We need to take this thing out quick, because for all we know, we're not going to be able to run to a, from a bloody tree, because trees are apparently the fastest things alive. Then again, is it because I'm pressing run with Ness? Because he's the only one with the option, because he's the first in the party. I can't run away, because Ness is the slowest. That seems a little bit unfair. I should be able to run with every party member. Like how you can in, um... Can you do it in Mother 3? I'm not too sure, but you can in Mother 1, so I don't know. Plus, we're coming up with time, so I might stop in a moment. He bursts into flames! But we're not going to take that much damage, so it's perfectly fine. Whoa, Jeff's counter. What the hell? <laughs> you want to, like, fix yourself up? There we go, 69. Alright, so... We've got bugs! You engage the pit bull slug in its cohorts. That's a lot of bugs. Uh, Paula? You just bait her, because these things are probably the weakest things. And, uh, hungry HP sucker, why not? Get the HP back. Save me from using anything that I have on me. You'll probably actually finish them off. 257, yeah, that's definitely dead. Just bash them with back accident, sorry about that. Wow, that did nothing. That did nothing! They are a little bit resistant to that, leeching. I guess because they are leeches in a way. 
slugs or leeches, I believe. Might be wrong about that. They're not doing enough damage to warrant being a threat. Uh, have we got any goods to heal uh, damage? Not a nice. So I'll just uh, do that for now. But has Paula got anything? I don't really want to use those pizzas up. She's got three of them just in case because she can't use uh, PSI healing or life up, whatever. Just bash, I guess, and you use your heavy bazooka on the middle one. Because that will hit them all then. Never mind. It will just hit the two of them. At least the damage won't be split as much. Hey. We win. Enemy left the prezzy! It was a salt packet. Oh, well, I guess we could put that on the pizza then, can't we? Ness's level is now level 57. IQ went up by 1, HP went up by 1, PP went up by 5. Jeff is now level 50. Offense went up by 1, my HP went up by 3. Come on, that was a milestone, Jeff. You keep disappointing me with your level ups. Move for the prezzy. There's a couple of life noodles! We keep getting life noodles now. It's crazy. I feel like I'm saying crazy a lot. And I think this is another new enemy. Yes, a manly fish. A Sarahane, I think they're called in myth in Japanese mythology. Not entirely too sure. We'll bash him! He's gonna go down easy. Jabbed with a spear. 23 HP damage. Yep, that's weak. Didn't knock him out by just bashing, but I think we'll do that now. And there we go. Right, I'm getting a numbum. Heal up, pull up. Heal up the ball up. Alright. Uh, oh, actually. What? That didn't look like it touched me. Well, this sucks. We're just getting battle after battle at this point. And not much hard mode is happening because we're not getting literally bombarded by enemies that are like three to four in every round, or there's that many on screen at once, I'm just getting like one off, one battles it, like, consecutively. Yeah, so I was right, hard mode only seems to act up if I'm in a cave or in a desert-like area. That's fair, ain't it? Diddly, we win. I gotta stop doing that. Paul is now level 53. Guts went up by 1, luck went up by 1, HP went up by 2, PP went up by 2. Wow, um, this is nuts. Right, let me use the, um... Let me use the Piggy Nose one last time, and I'll think I'll end it off here. Kind of an odd place to end it off, but we're like halfway through this place, effectively. The truffle doesn't seem around here. And with that, I'm gonna end it off Surprise, here. Surprise, so, motherfucker! Next, so, where did you come from? Excuse me for trying to outro, Jesus! Right, where's that um, beef jerky that I literally just got from that battle? Use that on Jefferoon. How much does beef jerky heal? Wow. Um, maybe I want to save up on the beef jerky then instead of using that. But at the same time, that was a lot of health that just got healed. So, don't know what to think about that. But yeah, so... Now I'm going to end off in the next episode, in fact, Jeff, get out there. In the next episode, guys, we are going to continue through the deep darkness, because we should be halfway through, find the rest of the magic truffles, hopefully, and, well, when's Pooh going to join back? See you guys then. Will you duel, or are you a coward? Oh, come on! I didn't even move, okay, guys? I, I'm going to cut that, actually, because what I was doing was sitting here letting the music play for the end of the video. Say he's trying to download the official soundtrack or something. But it's like... I didn't even move, so when did enemies spawn? Excuse the hell out of me! I didn't even move! What the hell? Right, I'm pressing A. Now I'm leaving the game off. See you guys next time. Mm. Not even a ladder outro. What kind of a game is this?